My ingredient was tanbury. A seed com comes off of the burning bush. Everybody talks about how it's uh, almost like caviar in a way, where it pops in your mouth. Uh, slight, slight bit. Mostly eaten for the texture, uh, used for as a garnish on top of uh, either sushi or uh, anything uh, Chinese culture as well. I've, I've tried it a couple times. I've tried uh, toasting it. I've tried fermenting it. I've tried a little bit of everything, even blooming it, and it's just not that much of a flavor to it. Uh, it's just, I mean, the biggest part is just kind of very earthy flavor. So here we have fermented uh, tambourine. Uh, just basically uh, cryovac that a little bit, uh, put that in a sous vide machine, and then cooked it off for about three days at uh, 90 degrees. Let's see what happens. Uh, it started to um, sprout a little bit, which is pretty interesting. Dried tambouri. I dried it out for a little bit for a night, uh, and then I toasted it because when I dried it out, it was totally weird. But then just playing around with it, threw it in a pan, tried to see if it, it would toast up, and then it just started popping, almost like popcorn, and then it just gave it a nice little nutty flavor to it. Uh, next I have the, uh, the tambouri chip, basically a rice cracker. Once um, it dried out, just deep fry it, it'll turn like a chicharron, which is really nice. Uh, next I have uh, the chimichurri. Um, basically it's Chimichurri, a traditional chimichurri, but tossed in with uh, pickled ramps and also uh, tambourine. For the bottom of the plate, a little bit of starch. I was going to uh, do a little bit of risotto. The lamb that came in, I just broke it down, grabbed the lamb bones, tossed it off, made a little uh, a little broth out of that. Just because lamb is very pungent, but it's a good, good strong smell. Put a little bit of oil. fat side down so that fat gets nice and caramelized. I just wanted to do something uh, that had bold flavors with it as well. Uh, that lamb fat goes very well with it. I did a little sea urchin as well, sea urchin espuma. Just wanted to tie in the saltiness from the sea urchin to the uh, to the tambouri as well. This oil will go ahead and bring up to a point to where almost a little a light uh, smoke point so that hot enough to go ahead and, and make these pop up and turn into like a chicharro. We'll go ahead and add the fermented uh, tambouri in there as well. Add to that funk as well. Go ahead, the bottom, nice little layer. Go ahead and add lamb. Add the toasted tambouri off to the side, as well as the tambouri chimichurri. Go right on top and add a nice little uh, acid component to this dish as well as a little bit of a sea urchin espuma. Add a couple little dollops. Just add the chips, just for a nice little texture as well. Gotta mix it all together, get all that good stuff. A lot of textures, which I like. A lot of my dishes that I, that I compose, I. I always make sure that there's a texture in there so that it's just not just straight mush or just or just one solid texture. I want to crunch everything like that in there. And this is actually really good. I was, I'm actually pretty surprised at myself. <laughs> Challenging Bino Ottoman from Ruin Daily uh, with Tamarillo. Tamarillo is a fruit comes off of the nightshade family. Let's see if Bino can put a put tamarillo in a sandwich and see if you can make it taste well. <laughs>